Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antivirus Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 22. And you can see, well, it, I'm basically left off right, <laughs> left off right from last episode. And we're going to look into all the reality content here. So, first of all, I can gain six reality machines currently. The next is at E4888 attorney points. And I can get Glyph level 1. 68.5% to next, whatever that means. And there's the glyphs, there's also the upgrades, and this is something I, I wanted to discuss, because with six reality machines, it's not enough to get the rest of the top row upgrades. So I can get, I'll be able to get three times faster dilated time, three times faster replicani, three times more tachyon particles, but not, not five times more affinities. Or I can do, I can forego maybe one of these. And I'll be able to, um, well, yeah, it's just going to be three times more tachyon particles, five times more affinity. So there is something I have to sacrifice here. Unless I go to seven. But the real question isn't that. The real question is this. I accidentally completed the requirement for this upgrade here, which is infinity gain is boosted from antimatter galaxy count, and it's complete your first infinity with at most one antimatter galaxy. So, this gives me, if it, for a cost of 15 reality machines, 27 times more infinities. Well, currently. Previously, it was probably more like 10, 15, or 20 times when it actually matters. So, that is something to discuss, which means that like reality machine for the effects this upgrade is better so the real question is do I want to get all of these for 22 reality machines because I'm not I don't think I'm gonna get 60 reality machines or do I want to like skip this and get 19 reality machines or do I want to settle for seven or a little bit more than seven so there's that I can, I can afford to wait a little bit because of how I'm kind of ahead with my recording over my actual uploads at this point. But then there's also the glyphs. So, this is... So, I can get a, whatever, common glyph of power. It's just, it says upcoming glyph selection. So, apparently, I can... I thought I was just gonna be given a glyph and I would get what I get and not get upset from whatever I got. So I already, I already have a glyph of power. Antimatter dimension power plus 0 0.033, which really just means the, the antimatter dimensions are raised to the 1.033 exponent. I guess I could do an additional plus 0 0.029. I can also, I can also click, click for more. I can click for, for more info or to bring up details. I can also get a common glyph of infinity, which multiplies infinity dimensions um, by 0 0.022 or not multiplies, it's probably like the same thing as regular dimensions and then infinity is times 2.8 so that's actually really, that seems really good there's also this which is multiply dilated time gain by 3.9 and then this which is rare which is time dimensions are multiplied. So I'm not really sure which one I want to go, and I don't think it really matters a lot much. Um, it says you may have may have one thing you want to do before you reality get one time steady. Let me guess, it's it's two oh one. Yeah, I don't think that actually matters here. Yeah, ready to reality. You have unlocked every up available upgrade within this reality. Well, except that I don't want a reality yet. Because, well, first, reality machines, but also just how far I can actually get. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be grinding a lot off-camera. I'll get I'll get this, I'll get more tachyon particles, and I'll see what I'll want later on. So, yeah, see in a bit. How did I forget about the perk tree? Because, yeah, that's another big choice I'm going to need to make next reality. So there's four choices I can make. There is automatically unlock the first row of attorney upgrades for free once you have eternities. Start every reset with 5e130 antimatter. Um, reduce the achievement timer 
to 20 minutes per achievement, and remove the Attorney Challenge 5 requirement from Time Study 62. So, that's four choices. And I'm pretty sure the best one of these, for me, would be this one, because that speeds up a good chunk of the game, especially when Replicanti is quite slow. But there is another a, a caveat, and this is like the stuff afterward, and like after this, so the achievement ones is just reducing the timer. That's all it's doing, and eventually the last one is reality no longer resets your achievements. The other ones are more interesting. This one, for example, like this is like decent. This is also like the second row of attorney upgrades is automatically purchased at E10 times less than the original price. So that will help speed up the attorney challenge as part of the game. But the big one is this one. Unlock auto buyers for the repeatable dilation upgrades. Which means that the, the whole dilation section is going to be a lot faster. There's even stuff like... There's some useful stuff here, like the second revival dilation upgrade, in order to reset your dilated time. And then remove... Actually, this doesn't seem very useful at this point. Um, I mean, maybe it is, but I think I'm going to need these rewards first. And then this doesn't. This actually doesn't seem all that useful. Eventually, I'll get here, which auto unlocks reality, which doesn't really seem to do very much. Um, but, yeah. Then, then there is stuff like this. Start every reality with... 5e15 infinity points and dimension boost and antimatter galaxies no longer reset antimatter, antimatter dimension 6 speed or dimensional sacrifice which means they don't reset anything because they don't reset dimension boost anymore because of the achievement also stuff like start every reality with 10 eternity points and infinity dimension auto buyers work 3 times faster that's really useful and replicani auto buyers work 3 times faster like, there's just there's just a lot of really useful stuff here. Like this this one especially seems quite useful for just the early game, I guess. And then there's the stuff on the right. Um, there's active path multipliers are always multiplied. Idle path multipliers sort of if you spent 15 minutes in this infinity or eternity, which will greatly boost. The idle, like actually, this is pretty. This is really good, because this will make the idle path always better than the active path. Basically, I mean, there's this, but that doesn't really help. This actually no. If it's if this is always max, that means the infinity point thing will always also be max. So there's that there's also stuff like time fear auto buyer. Um, and then this is kind of useless. Uh, this is upgrade the time theorem on a bar to buy max time theorems, which honestly, this is gonna do the job most of the time. And then there's stuff like this auto complete one eternity challenge every 60 minutes, and this basically means I won't have to do eternity challenges if I am going really slow. Because 60 minutes, that's one hour. It takes two and a half days to complete all the Eternity Challenges. Which means that it's actually going to be quicker than actually doing the Eternity Challenges, which is weird. And then there's also stuff like 40 minutes and 20 minutes. There's these, which are which are just useless, because I'm not going to be getting to Time Study 181 ever <laughs> before I get... Before, before I complete these challenges. And then there's stuff like improve time study 122 to to basically it improves the active and or no, the, the passive stuff to make it on par with active except it also makes replicanti three times faster however the replicated galaxies will still be weaker so yeah passive will still be garbage except for maybe it's only challenge 12. The big one here is something like this. Remove non-time theorem requirements for unlocking eternity challenges. And you can complete multiple tiers of eternity challenges at once if you reach the goal of completion for, for that challenge. So, 
I'm thinking maybe I will want to go this way because like the dilation stuff will be really useful later on. But going like this route will basically mean, at least with my pace, it's going to, the eternity challenges will be trivial. I'll still be able to do the eternity challenges if I really want to, but this way will literally be faster in some cases, like eternity challenge 11. So I think I'm going to go with this because it's just, it's very useful to start and there's a lot of really useful stuff afterwards. So I've picked my perk for when I reality next time. The reality, though, is that the next reality will be, is still far away. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back maybe, I don't know, five to seven days later. And you can see I'm up to E5100 eternity points. Eight reality machines to gain. But the big thing here, glyph level one, 99.8% to the next. And... You can see here, I, f I found what this is about. It's just based on eternity points, replicanti, and dilated time. And you can see I have E20 dilated time and E10 tachyon particles. So that's pretty good. But also I noticed there's a way... My, my time study tree is definitely not optimal. Because, first of all, there's 226 versus 225. Seven replicating... Okay, this is in dilation, but still versus 20 and someone told me that the active path is actually better than the idle path because even with I don't know 10 to 500 times as many eternity points this time dimension multiplier based up on the replicanti galaxy amount is actually more powerful or at least that's what I was told I'm not really sure which is actually better but anyway I'm going to disable dilation and then we'll respec on eternity and then do some really fast eternities for time study 121's sake. And then I was told I can actually shift click here. So infinity time active. So I'm gonna shift click all the way down to 181. I think I shift click into eternity channel 10. That doesn't matter. I don't care about that. I just want all of this, all of this. I want 225 over 226. It is better in the long run. Although I might want 226 now. Let's look at this. Even with all of these boosts, I'm unable to actually get any more, I mean, not significantly more eternity points. So maybe what, what I should do instead, I can maybe export this tree or actually I should just export this tree and then eternity and maybe do some fast eternities and then import the tree except instead of do 220, 225 I do 226 and then I import that that should be actually slightly better in gaining eternity points. You can see now I'm up to 99.9% to the next glyph level. So, well, here it is. Uh, I tried to put this up before the glyphs leveled up, but I'm pretty sure this was, like, this is like 2.9, now it's 3.4. This is like 3.9, now it's 10.9, which is interesting. That's that's gonna change the glyph, what, what glyph I get. And the Infinity Glyph is now significantly more pow powerful. The Infinities was like 2.8 before, now it's 8.0. Which makes that significantly more attractive. And this would boost like the pre-eternity. Like the Infinity Dimension Power. That's not a bad boost right there. Although, I'm still... Uh, I don't know. Time Dimensions are really good, but they're only good in the really late game. I'm still going to vote against the dilated, the dilation one because it only affects the dilation part of the game. Even though it's probably the most powerful all the way through, like at the very end, it's only going to affect the end. This is powerful in like the... Like, okay, this is just junk. Okay, it's not junk, but I already have this and it's better to get everything else. This is like... Very good in the middle, 
especially through attorney challenges, but at the end it's going to fizzle out. And then here it's good for basically the second half, and that's it. I'm still leaning towards this. I don't know. Maybe I should just go with the Infinity, though. I'm still leaning towards the Time Glyph, and I'm just going to do some quick Eternity runs and see how many Reality Machines I'm going to be able to get. So... I can get 9. 22 is, looks like it's out of the picture. I calculated. I need E5800 Eternity points for that. So... I don't think that's really within reach. So... Yeah, seen a bit. So I think that... At this point, it, it looks like I'll be able to push to somewhere in the neighborhood of about E5500 Eternity Points. Which probably is something... It's going to give me something like, I don't know, 13-ish Reality Machines, which is kind of a strange amount. But it's not really close to any of my goals, so that's fine. And... Um, yeah, what, the next reality will actually be next episode. So hope you enjoyed. Peace out.